morning. Morning. We're not generally this perky. We're lying. <laughs> it's Monday morning. Um, yeah, so hi. We're just um, starting video blogs, which your son and sister are called vlogs. Vlogs. I hate that word. I like webcast, but maybe I'm just being old. All right, fine. And vlogs. Vlogs. Um, kind of makes me feel like a horrible bullwinkle and, and moose. What? Villain. <laughs> Disagreeing with me? No, vlog. Is that, oh, is that Natasha. Right? Natasha, vlog. Vlog. <laughs> so, Monday morning, what did we do this weekend? Went to Great America on Sunday. Great America was definitely the highlight. It was the last day of the season. Well, Fright Fest is coming up, but it was the last non bought out corporate day of um, the regular roller season. coasters. 60 uh, degrees, sunny, we had all the kids with us. It was well, more than 60, say, it was like 70. All but one. My younger one had soccer games, but right. um, yeah, like walk on, walk on rides, walk on rides, walk on rides. It was great. Yeah, to the point where I decided, yes, doing super the Superman ride twice in a row. That sounds like a fabulous idea. She loved it the first time. No. <laughs> she has a one ride limit <laughs> and then a long break and that works well I had to sit down afterwards because I was dizzy it, seriously it was bad but yeah we exhausted the kids and ourselves so yesterday was a bit of a bummer all that stuff we should have been doing all weekends just piled up laundry and bills and my husband back in the car his car he hinted that he might do mine, and but he I got in the car this morning, <laughs> like, and I knew I shouldn't be disappointed, but it was kind of like, oh, okay. Well, he was carrying around bags from the corporate giveaway like a year ago. We made, so. made good progress yesterday. All the kids got their laundry done, and the room's clean, so win. But um, it just sucks up a Sunday, as most of you probably know. Sundays are, Sundays are rough. I did make awesome... Biscuit casserole, though. You did. And banana muffins. I should put recipes up sometime. <laughs> They'll just be stealing from the Amish recipes, so... But now Amish and my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Where did your mom get them? Perhaps a Mennonite cookbook? I don't know. Pretty close to Amish. <laughs> so this week, we get crazy stuff. We got what... My older one has sewing and softball, which means practice some games. My younger one has soccer, which means practice and games, plus piano. Yours have? Uh, my oldest boy has started jujitsu, which is awesome. He loves it. He loves it. And he um, takes his aggression out on other people rather than his brothers. <laughs> well, he's not. I mean, seriously, no, a kid at the bus stop like... again this morning, the other like neighbor kid, yeah. punched his four-year-old brother. And I'm like... Oh, look. Look, he's so fabulous. Swing that but anyways, he's got jujitsu, and the middle one, is band practice, luckily, has him at school, so that's an excellent He's thing. starting the flute. It's so cute. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. And then my littlest one plays U7 soccer. Which has been rained out, like, 18 weeks in a row. <laughs> you have soccer today, honey. No, I you mean, don't. It's, like, been a drought all summer, and then all of a sudden he starts soccer and we get rain. So, on top of all this, and doctor's appointments, and stuff, and uh, just general week crazy. I have an appointment with the VA on Thursday, don't I? Yes, so do. Wednesday, something. Go through the VA system. Good luck. It's like Labyrinth, but without David Bowie. At least there's no tight pants. But look, it's David Bowie. <laughs> You gotta make an exception. It was like what, 1984? I was four, so I don't really remember the exact year. You may have been five. So. <laughs> was it a Christmas movie? <laughs> if it was a Christmas movie, then I was five. No, it was probably a summer blockbuster. I need to see that one again. Anyway, so, so 20K each. each. <laughs> What are you writing? What? I'm writing. A, What's your title? I don't remember what title is. Um, Ahead in the Heat. So far, yeah, uh, it's a sexy sequel to my uh, to my series. It's not a sequel to my series. It's the sequel to my first book. I'm being ambitious for you. Rich Hot Surfers. Rich Hot Surfers from Signet. Signet next summer, next 2014. Summer. And I'll be working on my first new adult, which is awesome. And that's uh, set in New Orleans, and it's a angsty piano player from bounced around from foster parents and stuff, and then a 
Reluctant Billionaire Playboy, because you always need one of those. Here's my cover. Ooh, so cute. But um, anyway, so that's what we'll be working on, and we need a serious kick in the pants. So we're offering some giveaways this week, and we'll be promoting this video and post, and hopefully by Friday, close of business, we'll have 20,000 words each. And if we do, then we get books. So we have a historical set. One from Lorelai Brown, and one from Carrie Lawton. See, so one of each of our, we have five names to give away. <laughs> These are two. So this is one package. This is 1920s jazz and 1880s Glasgow, which is, you know, in Scotland, which is the tartan on the cover. This is another of my names. I co-wrote these two. Number three in the series, number one in the series. I don't have number two. I don't know why. Because we gave them away at RT. We did. We gave them away like candy at RT. So we got two Ellen Connor books. These are post-apocalyptic romances. We've got three Katie Porter, which is us together. Um, Double Down, first in our Vegas Top, top Guns series. Hi, Ryan. Last book of the Top Guns is coming up. Three weeks. Three weeks. Bare Knuckle is out in two. No. <laughs> One, two, three weeks. Three weeks. Bare Knuckle. The fifth will be out in three weeks. So this will be good timing. This is number two. Hi, John. And then, because we don't have any others with us, you get a Christmas book. <laughs> Aren't they hot? This was the first male male book nominated for RT's book of the year. Yes. And then last but not least is Lindsay Piper, which is me writing Paranormals. And we've got Caged Warrior, which is number one. And Blood Warrior, which is number two. Oh, shiny. Look at that. And then Fest, which is so awesome, it looks so Hunger Games, is the audio version of my novella, um, Silent Warrior, which is a prequel to the other two. So four prize packages, all of our Four names, separate winners. Four separate winners. One pack per winner. And hopefully us with 20K each. And yay. Yay, so, book. Otherwise, check out our website for what's available now, Chains and Canes, and Hardway. Hardway. And oh, like bare knuckle, bare bare knuckle. Knuckle. we're so excited. It's the last of our last of our Top Guns boys, but we have more on the way, hence why we need to go right. So have a good week and we'll see you on Friday. Bye. Bye.